Uh, we are using now immunotherapy in a lot of patients with lung cancer. It has been very exciting for us. First, with approval for second line of the three major immunotherapeutic drugs. As you know, we got approval of nivolumab first. Then we got approval of a pembrolizumab for patients that are immunohistochemistry positive. And recently, we got approval of atezolizumab. And then we got approval of pembrolizumab for first line if the patient has a strong immunohistochemistry for PDL1. So that is why uh, it's very exciting for us because we have a large number of patients in immunotherapy instead of palliative chemotherapy. Atezolizumab is interesting because it's the first anti pdl one As you know, there is an interaction between, between the PD-1 receptor from the lymphocyte and the pdl one ligand uh, from the tumor. And the first two drugs were aimed to target the receptor, the PD-1. And uh, atezolizumab is the first one to target the ligand anti pdl one and it's called anti pdl one And uh, there are more agents coming that are anti pdl one Of course, the debate is which one is better, if there are any difference be, uh, between them. We don't know that yet, but that's the way that, uh, that they are different from each other. Uh, clinically speaking, all of these agents, the three agents are approved for second line. Um, so atezolizumab is, has the similar approval, and atezolizumab does not require Immunohistochemistry testing for PD-1, PDL-1 is approved without a, the, the need to do um, testing.